And now, if you look to your left, you'll see Connor standing alone in a white void. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta let you guys go because I gotta buy some t-shirts. Oh. Okay, we'll see then. Look at Justin's white hoodie. Good fellas, is it whiter than he is? Woody. Bye, Kevin. Wait, who? What? Wait, we didn't even I, invite him. Pretty, to this uh, pretty I did actually. Yeah, I was wider than I was. Nah, I sent a message to everyone in Lovac. Like Kevin's not around a whole lot. Yeah, and speaking of which, actually, I got a response. Uh, Daniel says, "What's up?" He wasn't able to make it, but he sends out his regards and he says he misses everyone. Happy holidays. Aww, He's like love busy. You, Daniel. I'm yeah. the trash can. <laughs> For those who are new to the channel, I'm the literal trash. Figured we should have some identification. No, you just live in it. To... You just live in the trash. There. I live in the trash, crying over Nanami. Although not really anymore. That's it's been quite a while since then. It's been a long time since Nanami. Yeah. By the way, Danganronpa three thoughts. You've grown since then. Well, not quite Danganronpa three, but Danganronpa the, um, the new version of spinoff games. Two. Well, that's your fault, Justice. So, what about you guys? I mean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. But, but I mean, like, Whoa. you know, did you see? Did you see fucking Robo? No, it is Robo my fault. Tag? See Robo, Robo Ahoge, Robo Ahoge, Robo Ahoge, Robo, Robo Gay. Yeah, can't wait to voice the asshole. Do, do <laughs> calm down. Take a breath. <laughs> Justin's like, uh, bitch. Oh yeah, is is Martin joining? He's online. I have it's no so idea. I I sent him Martin. an invite, but uh, never heard back. It's funny because because Martin only started like Martin only started to care when when I brought up the fucking uh, ghost stories dub, and he's like, "Oh, that ghost stories dub is is a treasure." It is it is actually a national treasure. I I I'm not quite done watching it, and honestly, I do think it's it's a bit worse near the end because just because they really stopped giving a crap. But I mean, oh, it is well, so I mean, you're talking about you're talking about a. A production that the that the producer basically sold the show and said, "Here's like six things that you can't change; otherwise, go nuts." And it's, it's and basically an episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Just dubbing an anime. Pretty much, pretty much. It's like that whole thing of uh, what is it? What was the game in Whose Line? Where like they had the old like the old like 1950s like it's called overdub movies. Or something. Overdub, I think, is what it was. There was called. something. I don't. I don't know. It's it's like every episode is a game of that, and that's just what the dialogue is for that day. <laughs> there we go. But um, and they. But yeah, I mean, like Nate getting the back to the dang, Yep, getting back to the whole dang and rompa thing. It's like it's not that I haven't want to. It's like mainly, like, I just haven't had the the privilege of finding a copy of the game. Oh yeah, and it's long as hell. So, that, yeah. But I mean, you can also but, just like, watch. I'm interested in it. You can watch a game game like, playthroughs I'm, on YouTube of it. It's mostly the yeah, same thing. Yeah, I've I've been neglecting to do that because like there are characters that I like in there. Like, uh, God, I can't. Was it Nayi that I that I voiced for you, yeah. Connor? Makoto Negami. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, Makoto uh, Neg and, Neg Sandwich. No, I, I, can I just say the, I'm uh, like personally impressed with the amount of stupid egg puns I made in the basically Danganronpa video. Yeah, I'm I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah, that was I'm, pretty I'm, good. <laughs> we we are proud parents of you, Connor. I had no idea that I even possessed an ability to do that. Anyway, but yeah, Neg Maybe, Makoto Neg. You should be Sans, you... Connor. Uh, no. Yeah, that was when I did, and uh, I had a. I had interest in doing a uh, mono bear too. So that was that's that yeah. was something. But then and then Connor was like, "Well, get in line because everybody wants to." Voice <laughs> yeah, that's mono bear. exactly what I said. I'm like, <laughs> there's not a, a single person in Lovac that doesn't want to voice mono bear, I think. There's not a single person in Lovac who can't voice mono bear to some extent. Monokuma, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, either Mono one. Fuck wad. I mean, even the, even the, like, the, never mind. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I haven't, I've been neglecting the chat, I apologize. It was excellent. Okay. Oh my was. god, Look, Spidey, man. you're gonna, you, uh, the high like fives. You, look at you, we're so proud of you. Somebody played the pun horn. Play it. That'll go uh, out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
<laughs> was, was that it? Pun kazoo, I'll take it. <laughs> oh boy. Can can you play dog song on your can you play dog song on your kazoo? Oh yeah. It sounds, it sounds a lot like a Temi shop theme. That's because it is. It, it's literally the it same is. song. It's the, it's the exact same song. No, of course yeah. it is. But I mean, like remix. on kazoo, it's going to sound more like that than it would the dog song. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> but, by the way. There- Anyway, yeah. There, there's this popular Hearthstone highlights channel that keeps using that, like the most recent ones, just constantly use dog song as the background music. And it's just like, Wait, is it really that appropriate to random? To, to, well, hold on. To video game highlights, like, is it really that relevant? Like dog song, just, just, just do 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 do. I love dog song so much because it's so guess- like cheery, but I'm also like it, it's being used for a lot of like lol so random moments for like a lot of things that aren't Undertale, and I'm like, whoa, hang on. Yeah, <laughs> I I feel like, like I it could be used, used like it's being used kind for, like, of like trolling stuff. Itself become a meme. I feel like a crackly version of that song would work really well for like a really also, ooh, like over the top horror awesome. show. <laughs> I I don't know about that, that but maybe if it's like maybe if it's like slower, like it'd have to be slower and off key. Yeah, the genocide version. I've completely lost oh, audio. Fair Give me a second, you guys. Connor's dead. So anyway, that's when I realized I wasn't wearing any pants. Well, doodle, do you ever wear pants? Yes, I'm wearing them right now. I mean, I, no, no, I'm not. Why would I? Uh, Free ball in it. I guess if you live, well, you live in a trash can. Well, you could see the pants in the image. I'm like I'm head first in the. Tra- we lost a viewer when we said that. <laughs> oh, we'll get him. <laughs> it's not like you're gonna see it, guys. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Streams cut back in. Anyway. Magic of editing. <laughs> yes, Buster Skull. The magic of editing. Do Wait, do somebody do. make a sentence with the words I've said. No. <laughs> My name is Justin. I love I love it that like Connor is our editor and yet when we ask him to do things, Yo, he never fun. edits any of it. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I've edited more things into podcasts than Connor has, and I only edited one podcast. It's because you only had to edit one podcast. <laughs> point taken, point taken, point taken. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is, it's not a thing you want to do every have, week. Yeah. And I do it every you week anyway with, too. you know, the comic dubs and everything else. Well, like, hey, I can edit the comic dubs. Told, you just got to hand them over. You just got to send them my way. You got to put it in the snail mail, send it over on videotape cassette. I can load it into the cassette to video digital recorder, and then I can record it into the digital, and then boom, we got it done. You got the editing. That's how the editing magic is done. That's how it's done, folks. Go tell Santa about that. Ask Santa for Christmas. Ask Santa uh, for more editing and low back videos for Christmas. <laughs> Ask Santa good- if Viagra <laughs> is correct for you. <laughs> Just a little, like a little five-year-old, five-year-old girl sitting on Santa's lap. It's like, Santa, should I get Viagra? <laughs> You're a creepy fuck. Wait, somebody, <laughs> oh Buster Skull has known Connor for over ten years. Who could that even be? Yeah, it's Dave. What's up, Dave? <laughs> Dave. Wait, wait. I thought I was Just Dave. Like, I thought I, th- I thought I thought I thought I played Dave. Dave. Connor, are are you cheating on me? Are you voice act <laughs> group cheating on me? But but doodle, you your name's Dave not Strider. Dave. Your name is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, Justin. That's what you get for trying to say my name. I could tell. I could tell. I got snipers trained on all of your locations. I, I forgot. And we lost another viewer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll shut up now forever. No, you're okay, Doodle. You are not responsible for our viewers going away. And who you know, it could totally be, like, freaking connections. No, but... they just don't like Doodle. Anyway, so... No. <laughs> so, what do we want to talk about? That's a good um, question, by the way. I was on you know, it, like... I, th- I had a topic. Hang on a second. Like... Oh, 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 okay. So, you did. You... 
we we've got a thing to talk about cuz fucking we made a video about it and it finally like finished up low back top best 5 game games of the year no sort wait, of. Th- best no, game man. ever thing oh yeah. shit ooh yeah ooh this is going to I don't know ooh. I'm going to fill everyone in on this so we made a video about it because there was the finale going on but what Hey Jennifer, we're talking tonight. about the game facts thing but yeah, uh, oh. what best game ever was was it was a competition held by GameFAQs, and it's been going on like uh, every five years since their tenth anniversary, and it's their twentieth twentieth anniversary. So there have been three consecutively. The first time Final Fantasy VII won, the second time Ocarina of Time won, and now we're on the third time. Over one hundred twenty-eight games. Over one hundred twenty-eight games were entered, and. Like In- including Virtue's last reward, which is amazing to me. I'm like, holy crap! I thought that was like super, a, super not known. That's like, oh my god, that's great. There were a lot of fantastic games. Yeah, there was. Yeah, okay. I know, but like Virtue's last reward, like nobody, like it's not a popular thing. I'm just surprised it got in there. I'm just like, yes, yeah, it still they, has a they cult they following, ran. doodled. So therefore, it's popular. <laughs> they ran the entire gauntlet. They had like Chrono Trigger, Mega total, Man X. It was a Thunderdome like, thing, like. But, but half Creed, of them were like Mario Nintendo, Galaxy, and like three quarters of the semifinals were, or wait, three quarters of like the quarterfinals were Nintendo. Yeah, for well, the most part, the Nintendo quarter has a nostalgia factor. The quarterfinals were uh, Smash Bros. Melee, Final Fantasy VII, Ocarina of Time, A Link to the Past, Mario RPG, Metal Gear Solid Three, Super Mario sixty four, and Undertale. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then as time continued on. The very final battle was Undertale versus The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which in and of itself is freaking incredible. And even more incredible than that, Undertale won. Mm Mm-hmm. Which was just absolutely kind of mind-boggling to think about. It it is mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling, but at the same time kind of pointless, because it really doesn't matter that much well, honestly th- like mean, it's it's awesome like it's cool like it does mean that undertale has made a mm-hmm. huge mark but at the same time it's also a stupid competition on game facts like well yeah it's an it's an opinion thing and like and that's to be expected i mean and it has a it's gained a massive following since its release and it has a massive following that goes through a broad spectrum of not just people but also various type of gamers and so like there are it appeals to a lot of different types of, of players and things like that because it has this strange mishmash of different uh, game genres all rolled into this very interesting and uh, unassuming package. And then on top of that, like the writing is just very top notch. And I think, like I've I've said this before, like just in personal conversations, stuff like that. But I think what Justin. really Yes. No, just in personal conversation. Uh-huh. Hmm. What? No, you. Nah, nah. Never mind. You said Justin quickly, and it was Justin. Oh. Uh-huh. For you, Justin. <laughs> time for Justin. Time, Justin. <laughs> I, it was just. Would you like some time? Anyway. Anyway. Puns aside. Puns aside. The Undertale at like as a fandom just seems to promote this sense of positivity and acceptance. And Buster just put in, is it's all part of what's relevant now. And that's true. Like it is incredibly relevant and it has a very big it has a very big fan base. But the fact that this fan base is still very much in it in its younger stages. Like the game hasn't been out for that long. And the fact that this fandom was able to come together and for a common purpose and not only be able to achieve that, but not really put anybody down at the same way. Like, obviously there were people who were, who were putting people down with it. Cause there's I mean, always on, going honestly, to be some bad, bad eggs. Yeah. But, um, like the worst, but, that yeah, all heard, the, but go ahead. Doodle. Like the worst that I've really seen. And I did quite a bit of digging, but like the worst that I've seen are people who are saying, eh, the game that it's up rated anyways. Like that's, Basically, the worst I've heard. Uh, so, like, that's. Doodle? 